Ooh, fishy, fishy. Oh, oh. There we go. Hello. Come on up and show yourself. <laughs> it's just like pulling in a Volkswagen. <laughs> uh huh. I was, was going to say that was awfully quick. Yeah. Sure he's got something else planned for us here. That was flashbacks 15 years ago, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Bada bang! Oh, good. <laughs> I love seeing those healthy hens getting all the way up here. Gosh, they're strong. I guess when you got everything in the ocean chasing you, you're bound to be strong, huh? Only the strong survive. Nice fish. Thank you, girl. No place like Alaska. Nothing even close to Alaska. It's been 15 years since I've been back here to, to fish in Alaska, and it's just like I never left. This place is better now than it was 15 years ago. And you get them up here, and these are wild fish, cold rivers, they're fighting current all the time, they're ultra strong. Alaska just has the diversity, has the volume, and when you've got places like Bristol Bay Lodge where you've got these fly-out opportunities, you can overnight out here in camps, you've got different species that are hot in different rivers. So you get this smorgasbord of fishing experience when you come out here that just is not rivaled anywhere in the world. We're fortunate at Bristol Bay Lodge to have some of the best fishing in North America, hands down, if not the world. And uh, I've been here 26 summers. Uh, the lodge has been here since 1972. The thing is, on our rotational basis, that uh, we're able to get people to move around quite a bit during their stay and get to see a lot of different watersheds during the course of the week. Bristol Bay Lodge, I think, is in the prime center of being within striking distance of so many different experiences that are quality experiences. I used to work for Matt Conley at Ducks Unlimited many, many moons ago. So he became a mentor and been a great friend over the years. So to come back and, and spend time in a place like this where he brought me into Alaska and to Bristol Bay the first time good. and to be able to come back and share it again with him was just a gift. You know, the weather in Alaska, it's the old saying, just wait 10 minutes, it'll change. In Alaska, that's really true. And, and day one, we arrive, and I mean, it's bluebird skies, beautiful sunshine. It looks like, you know, something the Chamber of Commerce would have prescribed for us. And of course, you know, we just soaked it up. We know how rare it is this time of year to have sun in Alaska, to be able to just enjoy the beauty of it without putting rain gear on and catch a lot of fish at the same time. So we just lived in the moment, caught a lot of fish, and lived a day we'll never forget. Ooh, that's fishy looking water right there. So this is the Agulapak River. Some of the craziest, biggest bows we have here at Bristol Bay Lodge. Fish on. Not three minutes into it, we were already hooked up with a nice rainbow. You hook into one of these giant leopard bows, these rainbows up here that are big, beefy, 24 to 30 inch rainbows. That's a different kind of fishing experience. I mean, it's like it's a different species. Barely fit my hand around her. Da -da 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 -da. Get him, get him, get him. Whatever you do, don't lose him that. Thank God for the de Havilland beaver. I mean, those workhorses get you to the greatest places in the world, especially here in Alaska. We own and operate three de Havilland beavers here at Bristol Bay Lodge. I have three different pilots on one included. The beaver is this amazing passport to adventure in Alaska. The sound, that throaty sound of a beaver engine is just unmistakable. If I ever lose my sight, I'll, I'll remember that sound. The beauty of Bristol Bay Lodge is the fact that they've got so many different locations so that if they can't fly, you can hop in a boat and you can go someplace else and have a great day of fishing. After day one of beautiful sunshine, gorgeous weather, getting a suntan out there, catching rainbow trout, we knew there was a big weather system coming in and boy did it, it just sock in this whole Bristol Bay region. We go to the Agula Walk, it's about a 30 minute ride. And we didn't care about the weather because we were well prepared for it. There's a lot of great satisfaction that comes to you if you bundle up on all your high-tech stuff and you go out there and they're throwing everything they can at you, elements-wise. When it rains, it pours, right? Rain or shine, you know, we're, uh, we're getting out and hitting the rivers hard, having a good time every day. 
They weren't into fish like you can't believe. I were a big fat bow, that's where I'd be. This is some hot action, brother. Spanking them, spanking them, spanking them. I tell you, there's no rest for a guide around here. It was infested with rainbow trout and char and Dolly Varden. I mean, one after another after another. Absolutely incredible. That's what's so great about our program is the variety that you get. And just think, we could have stayed in the lodge and watched football. The fish are always unpredictable. It's not always easy just to make a stab at a fish. You know, it has to be a teamwork between there the angler and, and the guide. Getting that fish up on the surface <laughs> is your best bet, you know, and you'll find some fish just will not cooperate. There we go. Fantastic, good job. Nice dolly. Nice fish, yeah, look at that. Very nice, very nice dolly. This thing was like paint by numbers. It was just so stunningly beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Rub your nose on the bottom. Stick of Mr. C. The honey hole. There we go, doubled up. The rainbow. You gotta bribe your guide a lot of money to come into this hole. You know, rainbow trout are tough, strong, hard fighting fish, but you put them here in Alaska, in these rivers where they're fighting current all the time, inch for inch, pound for pound, those fish are the toughest fighting trout anywhere in the world. It just doesn't quit, does it? Yes, sir. You say Alaska to a sportsman, and it just conjures romance. It conjures epic snowfalls and survival in the wilderness. I mean, there's people say, well, what's the next Alaska? There is no other Alaska, and there never will be. They don't make this stuff every day. This is the place. If you want to fish or you want to hunt, you come to the state of Alaska, and you come to the beginning. This is the alpha. It all starts here. When you come to Bristol Bay Lodge, I mean, the beauty of this location is the fact that you've got such a diversity of not just species of fish, but terrain and different kinds of rivers. You've got this real sampler of the best of Alaska right here at Bristol Bay Lodge. After a wet but successful tour on the Agula Pack, the skies dried out we set out with our guide Carter on the Togiak River to hit the Silver Salmon Run. Carter had found a, a couple of locations where there are still plenty of silvers around. A lot of them had moved out. It's getting late in the season. We went 15 minutes down river, said, guys, let's hit them right here. And he got Matt and I on silvers like that. Whoa, whoa. Fresh out of the ocean, bright silver chrome. I mean, they've got so much energy. It's just like a lightning rod when you're holding that rod and fighting that fish. Boy, there's no color at all. That's all silver, isn't it? Yeah. The sun's come out, brightened everyone you better be prepared for combat fishing because it's very physical. It's very demanding both of you and the fish. That, get a Mr. C. All right, lunch is on me, Matt. <laughs> After you've been catching dollies and rainbows, this is just like the Cape Buffalo of the water up here. You get theater, you get power. It's everything you could want in a game fish. Just incredible. Fresh salmon on the river. Pretty hard to beat. One of the great things about a fishing trip to me, especially in the North Country, whether it's Canada or it's Alaska, is the cultural phenomenon of the shore lunch. I mean, you catch a fish, you clean the fish, you eat that fish right then and there. It's the freshest it'll ever be. There's something about catching the fish that you're eating that just connects the full circle. Carter made this amazing shore lunch. It just doesn't taste like that in a restaurant. He gave us a vegetable medley, which I've never had from any guide. Sweet potatoes and regular potatoes and carrots, purple and red and orange and yellow, along with several types of onions. Chef Carter, at your yeah. service. So this is just a real thin beer batter, flour and cornstarch, and I'll bread it up with this panko here. I think both Chris and I declared it the finest salmon we ever had. It was just fish in perfection. Unbelievably delicious. Bon appetit. Ooh, yeah. Let's see, cold cut sandwiches or this. Ooh. You're talking about a room with a view, and then when you're done, you're going to be right back out there trying to catch some more. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Carter, what a day, my man.
When it comes to fishing, especially fly fishing, there is no place on the planet that rivals Alaska. And when you've got places like Bristol Bay Lodge, you owe it to your DNA to, to answer this call of the wild up here. All of our watersheds here at Bristol Bay Lodge are all unique and all different. We have uh, two overnight camps that we're the only game in town. There's no one else out there. Our overnight camps are Rainbow and Birch Creek. And I have guys that are stationed out there through the summer months. And uh, some of them have been out there for more than 10 summers. I mean, Matt and I have been so looking forward to coming back to Rainbow Camp because we had the most amazing experience 15 years ago when we came to this river. So we get up there, we start making a couple of casts, and bada bing, you know, Matt hooks into just a beautiful big silver. <laughs> there we go. Hey! Nice chrome fish. I'm fighting that beast. And that's why you come to a place like this, because you want a tiger by the tail on the end of that line. You want the fight of your life, you want lots of action, and Alaska has all that and more. What's going on, Matt? Are you winning? <laughs> hey, when he comes up, just ugly him with that sweater of yours, would you? Fade <laughs> him right in. Well, he's got other ideas. Rainbow is not a big river like the Togiak, so when you're connected with salmon, it's a much more intimate experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. You think, how in the world is this possibly going to work? Yet it works time and time again. And you're hooked up here more than you're casting, and then it's nonstop action. Here she goes. Sayonara. There's nothing like it in this whole world. You come here and it is primitive. We get to come to a wilderness that has remained the same. It's paradise, it's Eden. And so it's nice to know that when so much has changed in the world, it's great to come back to a place where it is even better than it was 15 years ago. The memories, frankly, are, are pale in comparison to the reality of the place. So that's Alaska.